Well, good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's nice. Um, I was just thinking about what Bill said, and I think I've never heard that phrase before. The lack of success is a good thing. But I think I get what he means by it, so I like it. So good morning. Welcome to MEC's Capital Day. Thank you so much for being here, especially with the cold weather and everything else you have going on. And this really is an opportunity today to bring our business leaders and our community leaders together to understand and think about and collaborate with our leaders, our public leaders, our state leaders, and figure out what this next session is going to look like. And it's a two-way street. It's important for us to understand it, but it's also important that we vocalize that and we be sure that our representation, our leadership, understands what's critical for us to continue to grow our businesses and create jobs. And the great thing about our governor and our leadership in the state is they get it. They want the same thing. So they're open to plans and public-private partnerships and collaboration, things that can make a difference. So it's very exciting and that's a big part of what MEC does. MEC is an organization that we represent the entire state. We're known as the State Chamber of Commerce and we have over a thousand firm members over 11,000 individuals within those firms. And we're all about trying to come together, develop an agenda, strategic agenda, based on data, independent research. This is not a political agenda or opinion based. This is based on the data that we see in the market, the feedback that we get. And then we want to go from that agenda, take that to a plan and do three simple things. Three simple things. We want to, we want our existing businesses to be successful. And we do not take that for granted. That's a big part of our responsibility at MEC is to help support businesses so they can be successful. We want to help create an environment where new businesses want to come here. That's important too. We have to continue to grow by bringing new businesses in. And then the third thing is if we know if we do those first two things right, we're going to create more jobs. That's good for the business community, that's good for the state, and that's good for the citizens of Mississippi. So that's what MEC is all about. This fall, and as we've done in the past, we went on a tour. So we've been to 12 cities throughout the state, north, south, east, and west, and we asked questions. We asked questions to our business leader. Many of you, many of you have been in those. And then we listen. And there are a couple interesting and critical points, probably you would expect even, but it's worth noting what our membership is telling us as we go across the state. We heard two big things. Number one thing, it's been out there for a while, but our membership is still very focused and concerned about our infrastructure, roads and bridges. They see it as an issue. They see it as an issue that may constrict trade. They see it as a safety issue for families, quality of life. It's a big deal. We asked the leaders in our MEC tour, would you be willing to spend money to help preserve and, inc and improve our infrastructure? 95.4% said they would. So MEC will continue this legislative session to work with our governor, lieutenant governor, speaker, and they all want to do something too, I believe, and we're, we're going to work together to try to make something happen and move the needle relative to our infrastructure needs and see some real progress. The second thing we heard, and this is actually the item that we heard more than anything else, okay, is the need to have a competent workforce, workforce development. Approximately 60% of our participation throughout the state said that workforce development is the key issue for a robust economy, the number one issue. Okay? And then almost 95% said, even though it's our number one issue, we have room for improvement and we need to do things to improve our skill sets, soft skills, technical skills throughout. So MEC heard that as a critical issue, the biggest issue from our membership, and that makes it our critical issue. And so we're going to talk a lot about that and work with the legislature. I know the governor feels strongly about this, as do the other leaders in the state. And I think we have to think as the business leaders. I mean, if we can't get the right workforce, our businesses will die. 
So it's a, it's a survival sort of position, is we have to figure out how to be innovative, we have to figure out how to work public and private, come together, collaborate in a way where we can improve the skill sets and give our people an opportunity to go earn a good living. And it's, it's, um, it's something that's in our own best interest. So we have to give that attention, we have to figure it out, and we're committed to do that through MEC in coordination with our leaders. Good news is there have been some successes. I mean, just in the last four years, uh, the Tech Masters program has graduated 3,000 uh, young students to go out in the workforce that, ha that verifies they have certain skill sets. We're in 83 school districts. We've done that in three or four years. So we can make a big impact if we put our heads together, we work together, we collaborate, and we move forward in the right direction. So for this legislative session, on behalf of MEC, we're excited. We're very excited. There are a lot of great things going on. We're excited to work with our state leadership because they get it. They, they understand economic development. They understand the role of private sector. They don't take us for granted, and they want us to be successful. Because they know if we're successful, then that's going to create jobs, and that's going to make our state successful, continue to improve and continue to make us successful. So we're all in this together. I do want to make a quick announcement uh, related to MEC's leadership. As many of you may know, we've been going through a, tra a transition period the last six months at the CEO level. And uh, Scott Waller has led that transition. He has done a fantastic job. He's done everything we've asked and more. There's not a more dedicated, hardworking person committed to the state of Mississippi and to NBC and, and to trying to make things happen in a positive way. So I'm very proud to announce that uh, uh, unanimously the board has voted to uh, ask him to come on as permanent CEO. He's agreed to do that. We have very high expectations, and rightfully so. He will do a great job. Thank you all for being here today. We appreciate what you do for the state. We appreciate what you do for MEC. And I'll now turn the podium back over to our new CEO, Scott Waller.